And here she is, folks, in all of her glory, the zombie Zeeves. So it looks a lot like previous bases here, and it works the same, but it works very well with a zoo new zombie mechanics. So let's go over what I've noticed the zombies changes this time. A, if they ragdoll near you, they'll go into smash mode for a bit. B, if they get crowded and they can't get to you, they go into smash mode. C, they actually see blocks as full blocks and partial blocks as partial blocks. So you can only use full blocks for them to travel on. Now where the success of this base lies is the multiple pass up. We have one path here, one path over here. I'm gonna actually turn my uh, cursor back on. A ladder here and a ladder on this side and I'm running this on times 32 and my character is game stage 80. So I'll give you the runaround of how this generally works here. So what happens is the zombies come up here obviously and on this when they're running they can actually run across these. They can run right across these no problem at all but when you get one zombie up against here where you're standing the other ones end up falling in between so you get like a little bit of a backup right and it filters them out which is really cool and then they drop right here is a 13 block drop. I haven't tested any further down but it does a little minimal damage so it kind of damages them over time. It'll never kill the zombie that's actually impossible because a zombie takes 13 percent damage of or a max 33 percent damage of their total health at the time not their complete health when they're fully healed so to explain this a little bit i do believe by day 14 you should be able to build this basic out of cobblestone and get through the day 14 horde easily i was able to do the day 7 horde in a base that was much less than this so a day 14 even without the even without the pit Although I don't recommend it because you need the zombies to ragdoll down here and not ragdoll it at about this height. Because if they fall down here and hit themselves and ragdoll, they'll start hitting the building and that's not what you want at all. And they don't seem to do that here. They just kind of seem to fall in between this. So this works for everything. It works for all the dogs, all the bigger zombies. Everything seems to get filtered by this system. Now, to explain how the uh, the top works here, all the electricity, I have right here, this is nice and simple, I just have a generator bank, it's a couple holes down with a, uh, a hatch here to hold it out, so there we go. And right here, what I have in the middle is the first electric fence. Now, you wanna put this right in the middle of the base and uh, give yourself blocks that you can access it through. So these blocks right here, if I actually take this out, I'm going to go copy shape. It'll tell us what shape that is. So that is a concrete pole plate, one half centered. Those seem to uh, work really well and they look pretty nice and you're able to hit this or uh, click it or repair it if need be. Uh, now, the only way I ever see that failing is if you happen to have a cop explode right here. And I've ran six Horde Knights, guys and I've never had a cop explode here. So it would be very unfortunate, but that's really the only weakness of the base. But on top of that, if that fails, it doesn't really matter. You could still handle the Horde Knight nice and easily, right? So if you put it down there and we go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks up, that's a block you're gonna be standing on here. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 blocks, holy crap. Almost lost count and put it up here. It'll actually come out at a perfect angle right here that the zombies will hit it when they're standing right here. And it actually like permanently disables them as long as they're standing here. They very rarely can hit this. Now, like I said, if you lose it or you don't have access because not everyone day 14 or even day 28 will have uh, all the parts you need to make the electricity, um, even like later really. But once you get it, you can upgrade this thing with it. So. Up here, what we've got to tackle the birds is from here, I've gone and just simply put three more of these down. So if the birds come down, they actually land in here. You can look straight up and shoot them. Now, this does work for more than one player as well. So let's say you're standing up in here. There we go. You're standing right here. You're taking the zombies on. You get a buddy in here and your buddy can either stand back here. You can't do too much because you're going to be in the way, right? But this is very important that you can't let the zombies see you other than this really narrow root right here. And these are special too. These are actually really key in keeping the space functioning. But anyway, put a ladder two blocks up. 
your buddy can jump up here. You can crouch down here to side from any zombie spit. Uh, because if he's looking at any cops, they will go. But from this height, they really shouldn't catch you too much, right? And then your buddy can come up here and repair this. Even if you want to get brave, you can come up here and maybe uh, shoot some zombies if you're getting bored. Uh, kind of soften them up before they get there. Haven't tested it really too much. I tested it with my two computers. So I'd have to test that with another player fully. Anyway, these blocks here, very important. These things are the success of this base. This block, here we go, we'll actually copy that. It is called the concrete place so or the concrete plate pull side centered. Whew. So what it does is it comes with a plate attached to it on the top and the bottom, and it makes a perfect block. The zombies cannot stumble through this space. The dogs can get through a little bit, but they put their heads right in front of you and you just give it a good old bash or you shoot it with a gun and the thing is dead. So uh, another thing to note before we uh, I start showing you guys this thing actually in action here is that you're going to need these things. It's very important. All right. You're going to need your um, your repair tool. And of course, your appropriate repair stuff, uh, concrete mix. Now this is day, we're gonna be going on day 28. Concrete might be a little overkill, but it just happened to be what I made this base out of. Uh, cobble should do the job uh, just fine, as long as you keep everything under control and keep this repaired. Uh, whoa, gee, <laughs> uh, now that I've actually have repair blocks as well. So let's say this here, uh, this is going to be the one that's most likely to go. If that gets broken, you still have this block blocking them here so you can replace it, right? So keep this always in your inventory, nice and handy. Bam, you can replace a block if it gets popped out. So yeah, guys, like this base isn't invincible, okay? If you're not careful, the zombies can still get at you. But the key is to try to get this electricity here as early as possible. You can buy it from the trader. Uh, you can find electrical stuff. So uh, you never know. You can even find the recipes early on too if, you, if you're really, really lucky. So guys, I'll show you what this thing looks like during the daytime when the zombies walk, okay? It's not uh, it's not very efficient here. Let's spawn in uh, a few Arlenes. Well, it is kind of efficient, but they never make it to you. Here we go. Uh, so let's walk them over here. I'll show you guys how to get up into this thing too uh before horde night starts it's actually rather easy here we go i'm gonna drop myself in here if i can if i can land properly all right so the zombies are gonna want to come up this way and look at that when they're walking they just literally get filtered right out and 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 fall see they're they're taking a little bit of damage every time they do fall it's not a lot of damage but it's enough to make them stumble a little bit and then want to come back up and as you can see they're not going to the base of this build they're falling far enough i think that they're they're not really going to be able to get to me so that's what walking zombies look like do you guys want to see what a horde knight looks like press that like button and if you're wondering before, guys, we start this all out, which block this is, let's go copy shape. It is the concrete pole plate centered. So all you have to do is put it out like that. You can rotate it in two different directions. Well, actually more than that. There you go. I have it on advanced, I think. But there you go. So they just basically bounce across these things. It's pretty damn cool. All right, guys. So I got a handgun here for Horde Knight. I got my repair tool. And I got replacement uh, parts. I'm going to call them replacement part, I think. There we go. I'm going to copy that rotation. Perfect. Just like that. So before we commence, I'm going to show you guys how to get up into this thing. Uh, almost fell right out of there. So what you want to do is just basically inner pull up, right? You got your, uh, your frame. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Put your frames out this way. Make yourself a nice little bridge. And pick up your frames. The zombies should completely ignore that pile of frames. It doesn't seem like they would want to bash that anyway. They run from behind the base all the way open to the front. You can even open your door sometimes and watch. Uh, now, if you're curious about why I put frames all the way down, those are concrete frames, by the way, full health. I did that so I can see down the sides to see, you know, are we having any trouble? And, you know, if something does happen, you can always shoot at the zombies here hitting at the side of the build if something happens right all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn on this horde night so we're gonna set time day 28 and we're gonna go 2200 perfect there we go so we are spawning in zombies at game stage 64 nice okay come on down guys now as you can see the zombies run right and look at that he walks right up to the pole 
And he gets in the stun position. And any zombies, for the most part, one or two might catch the sides, will actually hit him and fall in behind. So it's like almost like having a meat shield directly in front of you. Now, if you need to repair, you need to grab yourself some health, grab a drink, go get a coffee. You can actually do that. And they just sit here and do this over and over and over again, right? It's actually fantastic. Now, uh, if you're worried about headshots, it's not that hard at all. There we go. We'll get rid of this guy here and see if we get another one in. You can you can clip their heads from the side. Sometimes they go like this. There we go. Yeah, you can actually see he's got his head on the side for us. And bam, look at that. You can even conserve your ammo too and uh, do a whole bunch of headshots here. Oh yeah, look at that. So let's take a look. We'll go into God Mode here. Let's take a look and see what the zombies are doing. Look at them filtering down there. Like this is way better than the tips. Way better than the tips. And if you notice, they're not hitting the building at all. They're swinging on their way down a little bit, but the, the hits are so rare and in between, it doesn't really uh, pose a challenge, right? Okay, so let's move back into the base now. They're doing this here a little bit because I'm standing outside. We got to get back in so they can see a path to us. I'm stuck in the block, so. Okay, here we go. Just kind of keep them going. We got one in front here. He's holding up the place. Um, now, you can even, like, meat shield these guys and shoot past them if you wanted to. Now, I'm hoping we get some cops because this block or this build is also really excellent. Like, you can step all the way back here, guys. Uh, this build is excellent because the cops cannot spit at you until they're, like, right here up on these two blocks. If you're standing all the way back here, they're not even going to start their spitting animation. And the spit can't get through this space right here. I haven't had the spit go through once on top of that. They usually end up behind zombies, so what they're doing is actually spitting at the zombies. And if they still do damage to their fellow zombies, they're actually helping you out quite a bit. Here we go. Okay, so let's 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 kill some of these guys here. Let's pump some bullets in there. I just want to prove to you guys that like this horde night can be done fairly, fairly easy once you get this space all nice and set up. Like I'm killing them even before they get to here. And look at this, if you're bored, grab yourself some loot. There you go, maybe put yourself a, a chest or something up there, and you can store your stuff as you go. All your loot will actually end up down in uh, in that pit, so uh, let's just go into God Mode for a second. As you can tell, they're actually doing pretty well. Most of them, most of them are actually getting back up and running. Now, I, I have to admit, I I've seen a few hit the walls here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they're doing that, but it's not really important if they're hitting the walls down there, right? As long as they have the ramp to get right back out, uh, they're okay. But it works efficiently. Okay, guys, we're actually getting ourselves some cops now. So I just uh, saw one cop coming in, and he's spitting hit down there on his way down, so he can even get his time to spit. But here we go. Let's actually get some of the, uh, the zombies back up here. We'll go out of god mode. And as you can see, the cop just ran by there. And he just barely saw me, but he can't hit me with that spit. He might be able to get one off. Now you guys are like, ooh, what about the damage, right? That is why you keep your repair tool on you. Like, look at that. Look at the very little damage that the, the base has taken up here in that time. And this is where the most important area is. Like, if they explode down there, if they hit the walls a few times down there, uh, it's actually not that bad of a deal, right? Because it doesn't matter. You just go down and repair it after Horde Night. And everything up here should stay pretty solid. So, there we go. We have another cop coming at us. Yeah, look, look, there they go, guys. The cop spit cannot make it into this compartment with you. And the cops actually can't even spit until they get up here. They won't even start their animation, so it, it saves you. Uh, now, like I said earlier, the dogs will come up here and poke their heads through. Uh, but if you're standing back here, they're not going to hit you. Now... Uh, if you guys are wondering about melee, let's actually do that up here. Let's let's uh, let's pull out a bat. Here we go. My guy is not uh, skilled in anything, but if we pull out a bat, get out here. You guys can still fully melee the zombies. Like, look at that. You just stand right up here. Look at that cop. He's gonna spit at us. Yep. Nothing. I was actually hit by one of the zombies. They can still reach through here pretty well. Uh, but they cannot get to you at all. Oh, there we go, guys. Our uh, <laughs> our electricity actually has broken. So now we actually get to see what the Horde Knight is like 
uh, without that. Must have been a cop spit that broke the one up top. Or, oh, wait, wait, no. It's not broken. Never mind. Uh, the zombie must have just been sitting funny. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, what we're going to do here is pause the zombies. Just like this, guys. We're going to pause the zombies. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna show you what this horde knight is like. Let's see if we can actually see here. You can see the zombies coming in are running around the build. They're either coming up the ladders. If it gets really crowded, they will come up the ladders. Uh, but they do prefer the ramps over the ladders. And they fall down there, come up. Let's take a look down here. I'll show you guys since we have everything paused. Uh, we don't have that much damage down here. Like, that's actually very, very little, and if you're a decent player and you've built a lot of bases and stuff before, uh, you really know how to get to concrete uh, very, very quickly. And as you can see, too, they haven't even touched this, this frame pile here uh, at all. Okay, so let's go ahead, turn this off. There we go. Now we have no electrical assistance. Uh, so we have to keep your eye upwards. If you hear a bird, look up. Uh, it's probably right on top of you, so we'll get this repaired here and get the horde going. So there we go. So you'll have one or two up at the front you'll have to take care of. Uh, if you do see a cop, I recommend going like this, backing up a little bit and letting him spit. He might just hit his buddies, right? Here we go. Doing horde night with a handgun, guys. Now I'm going to assume, too, you're going to have a, a few better weapons, you know, something to uh, really hit the cops with. But as you can see, it's still pretty efficient. You're just going to have to stop and do some repairs every once in a while. And uh, also, guys, the cops, you can actually stop their spinning animation. If you can make them stumble, they will fall off and uh, not be able to spit at you at all. There we go. Look at that one. See? I think he hit the back of his zombie buddy right there. <laughs> okay, so it's been about a minute here. And uh, there's actually very, very little damage to that block. And uh, still fully... Still fully made layable, but uh, it's not that easy. <laughs> Here we go. So yeah, you definitely want to do ranged if this happens. As you can see, the middle block's getting a little bit of damage. But I can pause, repair, reload, and we still have decent enough time, right? And you got to remember, this is on time 32, game stage 80, and uh, we're on day 28. So I haven't really tested it. This is with like crazy late game horde nights. This is a brand new base design. I kind of want to bring this up through base day one. I think this is going to be our official base day one um, base, guys. Uh, this is definitely going to work for day 14. We'll be able to handle it here um, as long as I keep the cobblestone. Or uh, if I'm lucky enough to get some concrete, I'll upgrade these blocks to concrete. So uh, we should be more than good enough for the Horde Knight. I'm really looking forward to building this. If you want to, guys want to see how this is built, I'll be building it on Saturday, December 11th on the episode. First thing, 8.30 a.m. in the morning. And if you guys hit the like button enough, I tell you what, I'll make a proper tutorial to show you guys how the base works exactly and how to build it, especially if you're new to base building, right? You got to know how the bases work uh, instead of just knowing how to put them together. I think that's very, very, very important. Well, guys, if you like this, of course, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. Want to check out my playlist? They're down in the top pin comment. You guys rock, stay classy, and always back up them game saves.